Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go over how to set your lineup or how I set my lineup uh, in this case. I think there are there is definitely more than one way to set your lineup, but this is just the method that I use. It's uh, worked so far for me, but as I said, you could have a different order than I do. And if you do, feel free to leave me down a comment below, giving me any feedback. How do you do it? Where do you put your players? Let me know down in the comments below. So in order to set your lineup, you want to navigate to the lineup tab where you'll see your players, but more specifically your batting order. This is what we're going to focus on today, the batting lineup. So I just kind of went off just general, very basic, uh, some principles that I guess basic baseball lineups are set with. So to start off, um, I'm just going to say that I do have to adjust this a little bit because I upgraded, I just upgraded my team. So some of the players might have to be shoveled around. But to start off, number one, your leadoff. Uh, the leadoff player should be kind of your best uh overall hitter well maybe not your best i'd say your second best hitter you want to have somebody with a really good on base percentage so you can filter that here you can see um the obp on base percentage you want someone that someone that's i would say second highest so here m martinez he's 0.374 um we have some 0.38 0.4 Mike Trout, which is our best hitter. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But in this case, I mean, you could um, put your best hitter first. But depending on their stats, you want to save them for later. So first overall, first in your lineup, put, I'd say, either your second or third best hitter just on base percentage. Not their average, just you want them to get on base. That's their entire job to just get on base. So this takes into account, you know, walks taken and things like that. With your second player, your two spot, you want them to be a good hitter, once again. Uh, a good on-base percentage here, once again. Um, maybe your second best. You don't want someone that strikes out a lot. Um, also, somebody who's fast. Your first hitter should also be fast as well because you want them to have the best chance of getting on base. So you're looking for your second and third best hitter, but also with some speed. So here you see that I've upgraded him to 102 speed. So speed demon, lead off, gets on base. Second person up has speed to advance as well. So your third hitter, once again, a good hitter, high on base percentage, um, definitely one of your top four hitters. You want somebody who has good power and contact because if they can be getting doubles and triples and your first two hitters can get on base, then this will bring them in. So once again, 0.38, very good. A lot of RBI as you can see here. A good mix of power, 85 power, and contact. Fourth hitter. Now, this traditionally is your best hitter, hitter with the highest power, because the goal is to get your first three hitters on base. So your fourth hitter steps up. Tons of power, can drive home a lot of runs. So you can see I have my Mike Trout, 92. I think what I'm going to want to do is actually move Mike to the third spot and we're going to move our Clark to the fourth spot since he has 98 power he is my power hitter he's batting 308 not the best but we want that power now the fifth spot moving up after that you also want high power good contact solid batter because if you're 
four cleanup hitter is not able to clear the bases there's some people left on base still you want this person to have that power to drive some runs home so we see 85 c lopez pretty good but now once we move down the list um we're on to six seven eight nine now you just want kind of your your next best your next best um you can just go straight up using batting average or obp but i'm gonna switch out him because he is a little bit better and then going down the list you know 63 overall 65 over overall you can look at power if you, you probably put your better power better contact higher or if you do want some speed so after that six seven eight nine it really just fill it out uh go by percentage go by overall if you have some bronze players or some recruit players that you haven't upgraded yet put those last uh they're just the bottom of the order traditionally pretty weak but the goal is to have a well-rounded lineup up and down of course it will take time for you to upgrade your players so that you know i have silvers and golds and platinums and diamonds but just starting off if you just have a couple players couple silver players focus on um you know setting the one through four that's going to be your most important especially that fourth so this also comes into play when you are upgrading your players you might ask you know what exactly do i upgrade you know i have mike trout or you know this guy with the 98 power so you want to kind of focus on so here you see that i have this guy 98 power his next best stat is 82 batters i i'm focusing purely on power for him for this other guy purely on speed so we know that he's going to be in the fourth spot he's going to be a, my cleanup hitter i want power out of him so when i'm leveling up him i'm going to choose power most of the time now you don't want him to have like 80 power and 50 other stats somewhat even but he should have a higher power than the rest of the players or if you want you know somebody that's well-rounded for that third spot second spot you want them to be more well-rounded but focus on those batting stats so that's just a quick rundown of how i set my batting lineup um i have my pitching lineup here as well it's i can cover it in a, another video it's not a as in depth but if you want to see that let me know down below this is how i set my lineup let me know how you set your lineup uh, i'm also looking here all my batters are right-handed so i definitely want to have switched their um batting style uh to change them to either be a switch hitter or you know left and right or i'm going to switch them to left or right so you want to mix it up because if your players are all right-handed, it's the ball, you know, how they hit is all going to be the same. So you definitely want to mix it up a little bit. Um, I might just change him over later, but that's talk for another video. This was just meant to be a really quick rundown of how, generally speaking, the order is set. I know there's been questions, but thanks for watching. As always, comments down below, like the video if this was helpful for you. Stay subscribed and see you in our next video. Peace!